About an hour later, Hulale called out, Bye bye, hurry up and take Mr. Wu out for dinner. On the table were delicious dishes that Hulale had carefully prepared. Wu Chen remarked, Miss Kuo truly has great cooking skills. Thank you for the hospitality. Fu Bai replied, Sister, Wu Chen just suggested a new product idea to me. It's incredibly creative. I think it's fantastic. Wu Chen continued, One of the materials needed to create this product is very rare, Miss Kuo. We need to go to Ling Nan to discuss it with the other party. Seeing this, Hua Lei stammered, Oh, all right, all right. After finishing the meal, about an hour later, Mr. Wu returned to Lai Rubing. He said, Honey, I've done something, but I hope you won't be angry, all right. Lai Rubing was still drying her hair when she heard her naughty boyfriend's slightly remorseful voice. She pouted and said loudly, You've gone out and gotten some woman pregnant again. Wu Chen quickly hugged Ru Bing tightly and replied, What are you thinking? I just gave you Bai Lai Zhe a plan. If everything goes smoothly, they will be able to expand their operations very quickly. Upon hearing this, Ru Bing immediately felt as if a heavy burden had been lifted from her heart. She spoke up. If things aren't what I think, then my dear, there's no need to report such matters. I would be very happy to have a capable rival chasing after me, chasing after the company from behind. Even if I surpass them, after all, if only Xuan Tai is at the pinnacle of the cosmetics fashion industry, it would indeed feel a bit lonely and cold. Wu Chen began to kiss Ru Bing passionately. He said, My love, I really like you like this. So let me take care of you for a few rounds tonight, okay? Thus, strange sounds erupted, accompanied by Ru Bing's folding of you jerk. The next day, Wu Chen and Hua Lei arrived in Ling Man. A young woman rushed over and said, Mr. Wu, I am the secretary of the Golden Silkworm Breeding Cooperative in Nanjiang, H City. For some reason, I was unable to contact the president, so I had to come here quickly to pick you up. I guess the matter Mr. Wu wants to discuss today cannot be discussed. Wu Chen asked in confusion, What has happened? I contacted the president of the Mio Cooperative last night, he answered. The secretary girl replied with a flustered expression, I and the others are the same. Since then, we have been unable to get in touch. It seems Mr. Wu should return to Dong Hai. We will contact him when we find the boss. Of course, our agency will cover Mr. Wu's flight expenses. Seeing the girl about to take out her QR payment scanner for him, Wu Chen hurriedly advised against it. No need to be so straightforward. In my impression, CEO Mio is a principled person, always punctual and reliable. Now that you are here, please take us to your cooperative. After half an hour of travel, they finally arrived. A woman hurriedly said, Yesterday Mr. Mio came home, and a car came to pick him up. But up until now, there has been no news. It has been less than 24 hours, and even though we reported to the police, they still haven't found him. This is truly making me worry to death. This woman was none other than Mrs. Mio, the wife of CEO Mio. Wu Chen quickly reassured Miss Mio, Don't worry. As long as CEO Mio has had contact with someone, there will definitely be some clues left behind. I have a few connections. Let me see what I can find out. The scene shifts to a Huang. After grasping the information, she quickly searched. Wu Chen, I found an abandoned factory on the outskirts of City H. I'm sending you the location now. Back with Wu Chen, he said, Miss Guo, you stay here with this girl from the countryside for one night. I'll take CEO Mio back. He placed a hand on her shoulder and added, Just wait for me. Okay, it won't take too long. Seeing this, Hua Lei blushed and replied, Okay, all right, so Mr. Wu, please be careful. The scene shifts to an abandoned factory. The sounds of punches and baseball bats echo rhythmically. From a distance, a man, puffing a cigarette, spoke, Mr. Mio, don't be shameless and unreasonable. Today, even if you don't want to sell, you have to sell the cooperative. CEO Mio, having been kidnapped and beaten black and blue, hurriedly replied, Boss, this price is absolutely unacceptable. The old man in a white suit angrily approached and shouted, I demand six million yuan. Don't push me to do something dirty. I made my offer. Not a dime less. CEO Mio spat blood and said, No, it can't be. The old man in a white suit spoke up, Didn't you tell me something before? Didn't you give me all the chrysanthemums? Why is there someone who wants to pay more for this? 
Are you playing tricks behind my back? Then we should end this game here. Suddenly, a loud noise erupted. A kick sent the iron door flying ten meters away. Wu Chen had arrived, and he spoke in a mysterious tone. I advise you not to touch CEO Miao. The gang members immediately became furious and charged, shouting, Who are you, dog, to interfere in our business? So they lunged at him, planning to gain up. Wu Chen, with his low center of gravity, charged in to fight. Another guy quickly threw a punch, but Wu Chen simply sidestepped with ease. Wu Chen then lightly threw a punch. One person was sent crashing headfirst into the wall. The others witnessing this scene turned pale with fear, whispering, I'm about to wet my pants. What kind of monster possesses such unusual strength? Who is this guy? Wu Chen approached, untied Mio CEO, and said, Mio CEO, I will take care of the cooperative's matters. Please take some rest first. Wu Chen continued, I have found everything about you on my way here. Let's have a chat. The boss sneered and asked, A chat with you? Do we have anything to talk about? Wu Chen sat down, beginning to showcase his knowledge. You work hard yourself, also own some factories under your name. Your net worth exceeds 10 million. By evaluation, compared to ordinary people, you are quite successful. He was astonished and asked, Ordinary people? What do you know? Wu Chen continued, Of course, you are not an ordinary person. I told you I've researched everything about you, including your life experiences and the family you don't want to mention. You are a member of the Ding family, and your grandfather and Ding Duan Long's grandfather. Speaking of seniority, Ding Duan Long should call you uncle. Upon hearing this, his expression turned wide-eyed, sweating as he responded, How could you possibly know this? The old man from the Ding family began to pull his hair as if about to go mad. Seeing this situation, Wu Chen was a bit surprised as it seemed everyone in the Ding family might be crazy. His thoughts raced through his mind, from the intimate scene of the mysterious man with some woman, to the moment of being reprimanded and driven out of the family. Even now, as he looked at Wu Chen speaking, he could hear none of the words, only the movements of his lips. The scene of that day returned to his mind. His parents had been brutally murdered and died in a tragic manner. The voice inside his head echoed. It was only supposed to be a love affair. He shouted loudly, Shut up. Don't say anything more to me. Wu Chen said, Now you are walking the same path as your brother-in-law. He angrily pointed and exclaimed, How could I possibly be like that beast? It's simply that you don't understand that, after more than 30 years of hard work, my assets still haven't exceeded 100 million yuan. At this rate, it will take many more years to become a top entrepreneur. Right. Wu Chen responded dangerously, becoming a top entrepreneur, so that your brother-in-law feels that you are the only one worthy of the Ding name and ultimately make him regret what happened back then. Ah, is this the reason why Du Bang Cheng had to die and Chairman Miu had to sell the cooperative at a low price? He said, Hemph, that's a matter for the Du family. He was a Feng Shui master. But who are you to meddle in this? He lit a cigarette and said, The two family and I have a bit of a karmic connection between us. Their affairs, I cannot just leave them be. I cannot ignore them. Encountering me is indeed a blessing from their ancestors. The two family is originally small and insignificant. It was I who brought the two family's techniques overseas, to places where no one understood them, and established reputable clinics in our country. By combining traditional medicine and beauty care products, I have helped them earn hundreds of millions annually. I am thinking of expanding the product line by two more rounds. So what if there's a little deceit, right? Wu Chen replied, The two family has regulations to inherit the wisdom of the sage. Surely they cannot engage with me in such things to self-destruct their reputation. He said, Not making money is only for those who have a problem with their minds. You asked, What about the golden silkworm then? He answered, If I didn't expect it, I would propose to establish a cooperative to gain what they have today, but Mr. Mayo reneged on our agreement, refusing to give me the right of first purchase at the last minute. Naturally, he forced me to do something wrong. Mr. Deng has said so as well. Mr. Mio spoke up from one side. Mr. Wu wants to buy the golden silkworm at a high price. The villagers naturally want to prioritize cooperating with him. After all, raising the golden silkworm is not simple. The workers certainly want to have a better life. Wu Chen said, Mr. Miao, I only need a small amount of goods. I'm not buying up your entire village. He replied, Yes, yes, we didn't think this through carefully. He spoke up. 
See, the nature of people is just like that. When you show them respect, they end up being unreasonable. Wu Chen smiled and replied, Maybe Mr. Mio is a bit wrong in this matter, but your way of doing things is also somewhat excessive. You can calculate the penalties for breaching the contract, but you must also include the compensation for Tu Peng Cheng's death, he answered. With power in your hands, you can say whatever you want. Wu Chen continued, Even if you do this to try to reclaim the Ding family or whatever, remember that I will definitely destroy the Ding family. You shouldn't keep thinking about that rotten family, but rather focus and use your talents to forge your own path. After a while, Wu Chen took Mr. Mio home. He spoke, Thank you, Mr. Wu. Because we were too greedy for money, we ended up in this situation. It truly makes me feel very ashamed to say this. He replied, It may not necessarily be a bad thing. If the cooperative falls into his hands, it won't be peaceful either. He turned to ask, You gentlemen are short on capital, right? Mr. Mio answered, in the past, there were small households, each working hard, but barely making enough to eat, unable to support themselves. Now the cooperative has expanded, and we've even leased some mountains around, so we are in great need of capital. He said, All right, Mr. Miel, I will invest in your cooperative as long as you let me have the best silkworm cocoons. Mr. Mayo opened the car door to leave and said, That's great, with Mr. Wu backing us up. We just need to work hard. Wu Chen then called Wu Yu Rong. Hello, Mitz Rong. It's been a while since I heard your voice. On the other end, Wu Yu Rong replied, Don't joke around, come back quickly, you naughty one. There's something important. After hanging up, he pondered. I was planning to visit the two family, but it seems I'll have to put that on hold. Half a day later, Wu Chen came to see Wu Yu Rong. Miss Rong, I'm here. From inside, upon hearing the voice of her mischievous boyfriend, she ran out and hugged him tightly. She said, My little brother-in-law, it's been so long since I last saw you. I missed you to the point of going crazy. Wu Chen replied, Miss Rong, what you said doesn't sound like you at all. Could it be that we must? His hand started to fumble around, prompting Wu Yu Rong to pull his hand away. She spoke up, Stop it. The only one in your eyes is me. But we have guests at home. Wu Chen just noticed someone behind and said, Oh, third young madam, how have you recovered? Watching the intimate scene between the two, King Er felt a bit shy. She replied, You men threw me in Tokyo without a second thought. Now that we meet, you don't even care about me. Wu Chen replied, How could it be like that? Actually, I didn't think the third young madam would come to Miss Rong's house. Seeing him so cheerful, King Er gently swatted his hand with her fan and playfully scolded, You chatterbox. Wu Yu Rong excitedly said, I could endure it without relying on you. But now that we've met, I can't hold back any longer. Third young madam, if you don't mind then. King Er happily responded, No one else is allowed. But if it's Wu Chen, then I might consider it. Mr. Wu watched the two talking and felt a bit confused. Not understanding what they were hinting at that made them so excited. But it seemed that his chances were slim anyway. After a while in the room, the sounds of passion began to echo. Wu Chen was indulging in a delightfully carefree game with two of his lovers. Wu Yu Rong had to moan, Little husband, oh, you're so good at this. A moment later, it was King Er's turn to taste, and she kept calling Wu Chen's name incessantly. Wu Yu Rong said, I miss you, I love you to the point of madness. I just want to stick to you forever. King Er chimed in, Hurry up, it's my turn now. After about two hours of yoga practice on the bed, Wu Chen embraced both girls with his hands. He asked, Miss Rong, third young madam, what exactly is the urgent matter that called me back? Wu Yu Rong replied, After handling everything, the major project in Nation TD has been put at the top of the organization. Finally, the four parties have signed the agreement, but unfortunately, the person in charge is someone who once pursued me but was rejected. Now that he sees my name on the partner list, he has begun to cause trouble. Wu Chen said, That's really too much. King Er spoke up beside him. He even made my husband there be bullied openly. Wu Chen, you have to help her. King Er was the kind of person who loved her husband, but she also had a fondness for him. Wu Chen tightly hugged his beloved and said, If I go there, I have to prepare thoroughly. Wu Yu Rong said, If necessary, I will go with you. King Er replied, I really look forward to it. I wonder what tricks you will pull again. 
The scene ships to two days later, at the airport in the capital nation Air, the territory of few camel guides. A Rolls-Royce car was waiting with a man inside. He spoke up, Mr. Wu, you finally arrived. The final phase of the game development project has been giving me a terrible headache. Wu Chen said, the development team is doing very well. The progress is quite complete. A while later in the office, a few wit people appeared visibly exhausted after being pushed by Wu Chen. A young man said, Boss, are there still many things that need fixing? Another asked, When will we finally get to take a break and go home? Wu Chen patted him on the shoulder to encourage him, Soon, soon. There are just a few minor tasks left, like adding guidance for newcomers, fixing hidden bugs, addressing the issue of invisible walls, adjusting the AI intelligence of the boss, and optimizing frame rate and lighting issues. After hearing this, the young man could hardly keep his eyes open and replied, Oh my God, is there still this much left? Will we even make it until the game launches? Maybe dying early wouldn't be so bad. Wu Chen said, Don't worry, your efforts will be rewarded accordingly. The young man muttered, Just like the Luke family. Wu Chen quickly proved, He was not lying, saying loudly, Completely different from the Liu family. Now, bring on the cake. A suitcase filled with cash was opened. This is 10 million in cash, a reward for Team 5 for launching the game on time. If the results are good, there will be additional bonuses. Just work an extra 10 days, and then everyone can enjoy a vacation and explore the beauty of ancient Babylon. There are also some girls here with attack on the chest and defense on the butt to serve. Thinking about the bright future ahead, every young man was excited and full of enthusiasm. Boss is so great. Don't say any more, boss. I will sell my life for you. Nation M female, come over here. The scene shifts ten days later, on the day of the launch of the game Grey Myth Wu Nang. The teen leader with the scarf spoke up. This is the first time I've been this nervous. Standing in front of the computer monitoring Mr. Wu's data, this feeling is harder than fighting against the mafia. On the other side, and Meng Lan was also happy for her beloved husband, as the game's theme song was loved by the global gaming community. Mr. Wu is truly very talented. On Peng Wei's side, on the first day, revenue from Sting exceeded 5 million copies. BS reached 800,000 copies, while other domestic platforms accounted for 500,000. The team leaders shouted loudly, Daily revenue has already hit 1.8 billion. This is just the beginning. Next month will sustain the hot trend, and revenue will surpass our expectations. Wu Chen smiled faintly. The game has succeeded. That's enough. Now it's time to meet the young master of Qatar. The scene shifts to the second day in Nation AR. Seeing Wu Chen arrive, a balding man spoke up. Mr. Wu, you finally made it. Has my wife explained the current situation to you yet? Wu Chen, wearing a cheerful expression, replied. The third young lady only briefly mentioned this issue, saying that the third young master has encountered difficulties here. What exactly is the situation? Perhaps due to practicing yoga with King Er and Wu Yurong the night before, Wu Chen hadn't had much time to discuss the matter. The third young master warmly shook hands and said, I don't consider you an outsider. Come sit here. Let's have tea and chat. But he had no idea that at home, his wife was being cared for by Wu Chen as if she were family. He recounts, in the past two years, we have mainly built a solar panel manufacturing plant and solar power stations in the desert. Everything is almost complete and ready to enter the trial operation phase. But unexpectedly, the fourth prince ordered a halt, saying it needs to be checked, taking more than half a month. There are still many more rounds to go. I really feel it's too bothersome. Wu Chen said, it's just that he found out one of the main shareholders is the woman who once rejected him. So if he's frustrated and intentionally making things difficult, it's not a big deal at all. He was surprised and asked, Mr. Wu, so do you have a countermeasure already? Wu Chen replied, Of course I do. These nobles never know what to do. Just let me teach them a lesson. Third young master, lend me your little assistant for a day, will you? The girl over there was shocked by the sudden request. The third young master asked in confusion, Huh? What does it have to do with my assistant? The girl asked in bewilderment. A, is it me? The scene shifts, and at this moment, in the film frame, the charming girl is riding a camel in the sandy desert. A loud shout echoed, open sesame. The girl then walked in and transitioned to a completely different space, 
contrasting the heat of the desert. On the cool blue beach, the young girl began a 30-second advertisement. From the desert to the ocean, an extraordinary experience awaits. Comment and share this video to receive a card, open sesame, and there's still a chance to win a travel voucher worth 23,000 yuan for a package trip to Qatar. At that moment, the performance immediately concluded. All the previous scenes were just a green screen backdrop. Wu Chen called to remind, the video has been sent to you, Peng Wei. Find 50 famous influencers right away have an in-depth experience. In four days, there will be a stir domestically. Peng Wei replied on the other end, I understand, Mr. Wu. Two days later, while enjoying tea, the third young master rushed in shouting, Mr. Wu, in the past few days, 500,000 domestic tourists have poured into Qatar, overwhelming their country. Hotels and restaurants are all on alert. They have no experience accommodating such a large number of guests in such a short time. Wu Chen slowly asked, and what happened next? He continued, in three days, they generated four billion from food and travel services. Their 17th prince has invited us to a thank you dinner tonight. Wu Chen smiled and said, well then, third young master, don't get drunk tonight. He chuckled and replied, haha, of course. The scene transitions to the Thanksgiving dinner of the 17th Prince of Qatar. He raised his glass and said, Mr. Wu, your advertisement for Arabian Nights World is truly creative and effective. It has surpassed all expectations. I also heard that the mythology game you released in the neighboring country sold over 100 million copies in just one week, breaking global records. Wu Chen clinked his glass and replied, Recently, it has just been a small achievement. Perhaps it is due to the grace of heaven that we have such good fortune. The prince said, I really appreciate your country saying, success lies in people. A one-time success may be due to luck, but continuous success cannot rely solely on luck. Mr. Wu, please follow me. Preparations are underway, he continued. From somewhere behind, a frustrated voice inquired, Oh, isn't that Mr. Liu? How did he sneak into the 17th prince's party like this? I already said, don't meet until the checks are finished. Why trail all the way here? The 17th prince replied, Fourth prince, Mr. Liu and Mr. Wu are esteemed guests whom I invited. Hearing this, he was surprised and asked, Did you invite them, dear brother? The 17th prince cheerfully said, Mr. Wu, let's not worry about my fourth prince. Let's go over there and continue our conversation. The fourth prince irritably thought, Mr. Liu wants to revitalize operations but needs to find someone responsible for energy like me. Why is he looking for a cultural manager? On the other side, the 17th prince spoke up, honestly, Mr. Wu, as a small country. All we know how to do is sell energy. We live in constant worry every day. Wu Chen asked, do you want to develop your own cultural industry? He replied, of course I want to. I think about it every day, but I just don't know where to start. Wu Chen pulled out a device and said, I have a plan. Please take a look. As he looked at the device, his face lit up with joy and excitement. He prays, I didn't expect you, sir, to have such a brilliant idea. All right, I will entrust you with this entirely. If it succeeds, I will do my utmost to support you in everything. Thus, the two shook hands to collaborate. Mr. Wu said, however, if we want to expedite this plan, the budget might. He interrupted, Money is not an issue for me. The scene transitions to the morning of the next day. Xia Sai Kin jumped up and said, Wu Chen, is there anything I can do to help you? I haven't worked since graduation. Wu Chen saw this and immediately got up, saying, Sai Kin, Sin Sin is about to enter university. You can't just concentrate entirely on her. That wouldn't be fair to yourself. Sai Kin replied, As long as teacher Wu doesn't mind me being slow. I'm willing to learn everything. Even if it's just doing the errands for you, I'm willing. Seeing her diligence for him, Wu Chen gently embraced her, saying, it might be a little tough at first. Sai Kin replied, as long as Teacher Wu is with me through the hardship, I don't mind. I just want to be helpful to Teacher Wu. So Wu Chen began to help her with her morning exercises. To motivate her further, he said, then I will give you more courage. That afternoon, he started teaching her. He reminded her to memorize the scene numbers and how directors work. In the future, this project will be under your responsibility, he said. Sai Kin determinedly replied, Understood, I guide. 
He patted her head and said, Don't rush, just take your time, and you will get used to it. Encouraged by him, Sai Kin's face turned rosy. At that moment, he received a call from Xiao Bao, saying, Hello, senior, we have arrived. I will send the location. Everyone come here to meet up. You really speak quickly, Xiao Bao, he said. Xiao Bao replied, If it weren't for household chores holding me back, I would have led the team myself to withdraw. Wu Chen chuckled and said, All right, all right. A little while later, a group of people arrived and began to shake hands and greet each other. Xiao Bao asked, Senior, what project is this time? These engineers are all key personnel specially chosen by my second uncle. They are even better than the team that built the bridge in Nation N. Wu Chen thought, Mr. Tang truly understands me. This time it's the second project for the 17th Prince, constructing a cultural and creative area to support a major film's television series from a big platform in Nation M. Once the film releases and attracts massive viewership, this place will be where we will reap tremendous profits. Therefore, the timeline is very tight, and the project scale is much more complex than the project in Nation N. Wu Chen spoke up, Xiao Bao, look over there. That is the land specially authorized by the prince for our use. We will build an Arabian Nights world complex, encapsulating the romantic essence typical of Nation TD, rivaling even Disneyland. Hearing this, Xiao Bao exclaimed in amazement, Oh my, we are building an Arabian Nights world senior. Wu Chen, embodying the prince's demeanor from Nation TD, looked extremely dashing. His confidence radiated unmistakably. Ten days later, this place had become a construction site for infrastructure. Wu Chen exclaimed, Not bad, not bad. With a construction speed that is unbelievably fast like this, I must say the 17th prince will be very pleased. Seeing Wu Chen a bit uncomfortable, his friend next to him asked, Brother Wu, do you feel uneasy about anything? It seems like tension in my lower back and shoulders, Wu Chen replied. Let me take you to get a traditional Chinese massage therapy. It will be fine in two days, his friend suggested. Wu Chen asked, Oh, is there somewhere like that in Nation Q? His friend explained, Zhang Gong is the best in Nation H for traditional medicine therapy. They have excellent services here. And there are even some beautiful young ladies with skilled techniques. They know the body better than we do. Upon hearing this, Wu Chen clicked his tongue lightly and replied with faint annoyance. What you said? Ah, never mind. He shouted loudly. Everyone has been working hard for ten consecutive days, so let's all go take a break and relax our shoulders and necks. It was thought that Brother Wu might be timid due to fearing his wife, but it seems this guy hasn't slept under a bridge, so he doesn't know what fear is. The scene shifted to the Lanting Zhu Hanfang Healthcare Club. A kind girl hurriedly said, Brother Zhang, I'm really sorry. Since you didn't make an appointment in advance, we probably can't accommodate you today. The young man named Zhang said, Ha! Huh, what's going on? Why didn't I hear anything about this two days ago? What kind of business are you running here? The guests I brought today are all distinguished guests. If you can't resolve this, then call your manager over to talk. The young woman replied, I understand that everyone is a distinguished guest, but today we have a special guest who has made a reservation. This is the first time we've encountered such a situation, so I hope you can understand. Zhang continued, The main purpose of opening your shop is to do business with people from Nation H, like us. I want to see how impressive and significant these guests you mentioned are, to compare them with our Mr. Wu. At that moment, a girl with orange hair stepped forward and said, Hey, hey, can you be a bit quieter? You say this is the best physical therapy club in Nation H. But your nation age people can't even perform the most basic quiet move. The young man, irritated, was about to engage further with the young woman, shouting, Are you that distinguished guest? I want to know why you dare to publicly discriminate against people from nation age like this. Wu Chen then advised, Brother Zhang, since they have reserved the place, it wouldn't be a problem for us to change to another location. There's no need to argue here. Suddenly, at that moment, Another Nation M's personnel walked out and spoke up. Nancy, why are you still making noise? This is Princess Monaco, Laura Bellina. Nancy replied, Your Highness, I apologize. Can we negotiate immediately? Lara said, Anyway, let it go. 
Initially, we came here to set the location spontaneously, so let's forget it. Give each of them a sum of money, and remember to verify their identities for registration for next time. Are the technicians ready? I am really eager to get started. After saying that, she walked away. Wu Chen thought, It is indeed true that she is called your highness. She is truly a distinguished guest. Let's go, Brother Zhang. Mr. Zhang had to swallow his frustration and ask on the way back, Who is she, Mr. Wu? I am really annoyed at being treated like a beggar. He replied, She is the Princess of Monaco, the best friend of the Ninth Princess of Nation Qi. It's better for us to do less than to do more. So let's avoid causing trouble for the prince. The scene shifted to the morning of the next day. Wu Chen was reviewing the script. The director for Younger Sister, Xia Sai Kin said, Teacher Wu, the filming of the second episode today went very smoothly. But from afar, Xiao Bao hurriedly ran over and called out Senior. He asked in confusion, Xiao Bao, why did you come here? Xiao Bao said, Senior, there is a group of people blocking us at the construction site, not allowing us to communicate with the outside. Something is going to happen soon. Senior, you should go there to handle it. No one else is there but our acquaintances. Nancy spoke up to take charge. Everyone must be checked, and check them carefully for me. At this moment, the workers were lining up to report. Wu Chen cheerfully spoke up. Our construction site is fortunate to have your highness visit and oversee our work. It's truly an honor. Seeing this, Wu Chen approached the younger sister, and Nancy pointed her gun warningly. You better stand right there for me. He replied, Oh, drawing a gun to welcome me? There's no need for that. Lara Bellina spoke up. Last night I told you all to register. Why did you run away, especially you? You have a complicated background. You are not only an intelligence businessman, but also a high-ranking partner of two gangs from Hawksha Nation DH and the gangs from Nation M. You also have connections with the locals from Nation CP. Wu Chen replied calmly. So what? Lara continued. In other words, if in Nation Q, if that person wants to harm me, then you would be the most reasonable one to draw a knife for them. Behind them, a young man voiced his dissatisfaction. Yesterday I thought I was unlucky to meet you guys. But today it's even worse. Xiao Bao said, No matter if you are a princess or whatever your highness status is, I will not allow you to harm my senior without reason like this. Wu Chen gestured, Don't get agitated. I completely understand why Princess Lara is doing this. Xiao Bao said, Senior, she has already regarded you as a villain. Why are you still sympathizing with her? Wu Chen thought, After I completed all the skill points I needed to learn over thousands of years, there was a period during reincarnation when I was bored. So I passed the time by collecting anecdotes about the royal families of different countries. But the funniest among them was the family of Princess Lara of the Royal Wanako. Wu Chen, unafraid, took another step closer and said, Princess, if I said I could completely get in touch with that person, would you believe me? Lara was surprised and asked, Ha, huh, what's happening with this man? Isn't he afraid of death at all? Wu Chen immediately displayed his skills, landing a swift blow that knocked the girl Nancy down. He began to flirt, saying, Although I had the pleasure of meeting the princess for the first time yesterday, I understand you better than you understand yourself. Of course, this is beyond your comprehension. But that's all right. I will speak clearly with you. But we need to change places. At this moment, Lara could only stand there in confusion. Suddenly, Mr. Wu made a strange move by lifting her skirt. Lara hurriedly covered it up, shouting loudly, Guards, quickly! This guy dares to sneak inside the princess's skirt. What a rogue! Meanwhile, inside, he didn't know what he was actually doing. Was he openly checking the goods? The two were watching both flushed red, thinking, What is Mr. Wu's skill here? Senior, is he starting to tear apart the princess's garments now? What kind of technique is this that he is so reckless? Lara blushed with embarrassment and stammered, Pervert. You pervert. What are you doing? After a moment of fumbling around, he came out and said, People who are kidnapped or assassinated every year should pay special attention to security issues. I've been in a similar situation long ago, so I understand how you feel. He then took out some kind of device. But the person never realized that the reason for their danger was that Nancy was always by their side, or the shadowy factors around. Hearing this, Lara exclaimed, OMG. Wu Chen extended his hand and said, 
This is not the place for us to talk. Let's change the location. Dear Princess, you can leave your people behind. Somehow, unconsciously, Lara reached out and took his hand. Wu Chen pulled her along, leaving, but not forgetting to remind Xiao Bao, make sure the construction site starts normal operations again. After a while, Wu Chen was taking little sister Lara out to get some fresh air and chat. Lara spoke up from behind. What else do you know about me? And Wu replied, Of course, I know a lot. Your Highness, you are the only child of the king and queen. The queen passed away from illness when you were just seven years old. Two years later, the king remarried, and the new queen quickly gave birth to a princess for the king. Since the little princess turned 18, everything has started to change. Your stepmother has begun an endless assassination campaign against you to seize the throne. But you are very clever and have avoided most of the assassination attempts. Until that point, you felt the most terrifying chill in your life. To relieve the stress that was difficult to bear in your heart, you found a boyfriend. But then you discovered that all of them were assassins arranged to be by your side. When you confronted him, he had poisoned the raincoat. Because your physique is too sensitive, you fortunately escaped the disaster at that time. Hearing this, Lara became shy and blushed, interrupting. This is really strange. You don't need to say any more. On the white sandy beach, the waves whispered and lapped at each other, creating a peaceful scene. In the car, Wu Chen asked, Do you know why your father is indifferent to your assassination attempt? He even seems to be an accomplice. Lara replied quietly, Throughout history, in most families, whether royal or ordinary, when there is a stepmother, things usually unfold that way. Wu Chen said, But you have underestimated your father. In fact, his love for you has not only remained unchanged, but has grown stronger than before. Lara exclaimed in surprise, What? What are you talking about? I completely don't understand what you're saying. Wu Chen explained, In our country's terms, this is called the psychological strategy of a king. Your country has an unfavorable geographical position, with three sides being pressed by Nation P, a giant that grips tightly. Since birth, you have had to read the faces of others. One careless move could risk losing the nation. Therefore, the hair must possess a steely will, extraordinary courage, and decisiveness. What your stepmother has done, in your father's eyes, is a challenge set by the nation, helping you train and grow. That's why there's a saying, fire test gold, hardship tests, strength. Upon hearing this, Lara was incredibly surprised and asked back, does he really think that way? He turned down and said, Princess. The best way to resolve danger is to give up defense and attack first, taking the initiative. She replied, our country only has our strongest point in tourism. What should I do now? He smiled and asked, are you asking for my advice? Lara said, there's the matter of the blockade at your site. I'm really sorry. Come down here. Come over here. Thinking she was inviting him down to the seats behind to practice yoga, she unexpectedly pulled him outside. He looked bewildered and said, ha. Huh, what are you doing? Just get out of the car. Don't worry. Lara stood in front of the vast, sparkling sea, not hesitating about her status, and sincerely said loudly, Wu Chen, here I officially apologize to you. My impulsiveness, I hope brother Wu can forgive me. Seeing this, he replied, so formal. It seems helping the princess this time cannot be refused. Half a day later, returning to the company, the exhausted tech workers were about to faint and said, the results of our game are too good already. I'm only thinking about the fun vacation coming up. Someone else replied, The feedback from players is abundant but very focused. The workload of this patch is within expectations. At this moment, Wu Chen had come to squeeze a little more. Oh no, to visit some brothers. The man from Nation Air said, Mr. Wu, I just saw the news that you've taken on two extra projects in Nation Q. How do you have the free time to come here? Wu Chen replied, of course I came to squeeze it dry. I have a new idea that requires collaboration from the development department. The young game developers had just caught their breath, and now they had to turn into milk cows for him again. A young man quietly said, Isn't our vacation going to be cancelled? The other young man responded, You really can't trust what the boss says. Wu Chen continued, It's not like I'm forcing everyone to work overtime. Our next project is a game set in medieval Europe. This is Princess Lara of Monaco. Upon hearing this, the long-term single young men jumped up and asked in unison, A princess. 
Looking at her radiance, he said, our game will feature a collaboration with Monaco. After players complete the exploration of the map and unlock hidden missions to become holy knights, they can use their game ID to travel to Monaco, enjoying free food and drink. If the game turns out well, the staff will also receive similar benefits. Meanwhile, the princess will ask the government agencies to help our company find beautiful wives from Monaco. Thinking of the scene of marrying a beautiful girl from Monaco, one can't help but want to embrace it. The young men who were previously enchanted exclaimed, from our understanding, thinking means that if we become outstanding employees, the princess and the boss will give us a wife, right? Wu Chen looked at Lara and chuckled, replying that's a rough understanding of it. The young men, just moments ago, feeling sluggish, were now full of energy, excitedly shouting, Boss, pick. Pick me. I will work hard. I want to work overtime. No one stop me. In my heart, there is only work. The young man in the back couldn't help but marvel, thinking, Mr. Wu is truly formidable. Not only is he intelligent, but he also has incredibly impressive connections. Previously, I only thought he was familiar with a few major families in the country. But it turns out he is also a guest of Prince Q and Princess Monaco. My luck lies in being his ally. If I were his rival, I would have been dismissed long ago. Wu Chen and Li smiled with satisfaction as their initial plans had taken off remarkably. Meanwhile, on a Huang's side, ha, huh, if the new game promotes and develops Monaco's economy a year from now, they might award a medal to the person with the greatest contribution, and that person will become the Duke of Monaco. She pondered. The idea is his. The product is also made by him. So isn't the biggest contributor Wu Chen. This means if this succeeds, Wu Chen will become the Duke of Monaco. This shocking information quickly reached Lai Ru Bing's ears. She read the news with a pale face, worried. It is something he can do, but this is no joke. She ordered, quickly take this list, contact these people, gather all of them at DH immediately. Her secretary, holding the documents, replied, I'll do it right away. But deep down, she hesitated and thought, it has been a long time since I saw this expression. Truly, a boss like this is too scary. A while later, her rival Wu Yurong arrived with King Er. Yu Rong spoke up. Are you continuing this act, Lai Rubing? What does replaying the past mean? Now the room was filled with sisters for the urgent meeting. After hearing the news that her beloved could potentially become the Duke, Lai Rubing said, Apart from confronting me, can you do anything else? You know the current situation all too well. Or do you not want to think about becoming his sister-in-law? She continued. Or do you not want to think about being his sister-in-law? Yu Rong slowly sat down and replied. It's not that your position as his wife may be shaken. So what does that have to do with us? What do you think, third young lady? King Er lifted her teacup, just smiling as if she was contemplating something. Tan Tan added. Aunt, your statement is not correct. This matter relates greatly to us. You should think it over. At this moment, a Huang interrupted. Sisters, wait a moment. There's someone else who wants to talk about this. Yu Rong responded. A Huang, do you also want to compete for rankings? You haven't even slept with Wu Chen yet. A Huang turned her screen and spoke. Not me, it's her. Make sure you see clearly before you speak, sister. At this time, He Nan, along with Chia Sai Kin, Anne and Meng Lan, were on a FaceTime call. Did you not promise Wu Chen not to interfere in our matters? Now you've changed your mind and want to join this battle. He now replied, I have listened to everything you and you wrong said. I do not care about your rankings. What worries me is whether I can still see Wu Chen in the future or not. She continued, I just want to find a way to resolve this with you all. Yu wrong asked in surprise, What do you mean? Why are you worried about not being able to meet Wu Chen? Ru Bing spoke up, I knew it. As soon as you saw my invitation to the gathering, all you could think about was confronting me, without considering anything else. Don't you know what makes Wu Chen special? He never pursues women. Women come to him. She continued, Do you think everyone here is sufficient? There are still two women from the Hua family outside that I haven't called yet. Have you not thought about this? Wu Chen has the potential to become the Duke of Monaco, supporting the princess in ascending to the throne. The next step could be that he becomes the husband of the princess. By then, to preserve the dignity of the Monaco royal family, it's very likely that Wu Chen will be forbidden from contacting us. Upon hearing this, Sister O suddenly felt choked with fear, 
thinking of the wicked princess who could crush her relationship with Wu Chen. Yu Rong was even more afraid. No way to meet Wu Chen again. That would be hell on earth. I don't want that at all. King Er spoke up. Whether the princess is beside Wu Chen or not is beyond our control. But as long as the princess wants to inherit the throne, her husband must certainly be worthy of it. Ru Bing followed. In other words, what we need to do now is to find a way to make Wu Chen lose the opportunity to be bestowed a title. King Ying said, That's right. Although I feel a bit regretful for her husband, we still have to do this for a future where her beloved husband is still by her side. Wu Yu Rong was pondering the pros and cons, being very careful. She wondered, should we hire a hacker to destroy his newly developed game? If we ruin his hard work, would he hate us later on? If we are unhappy with him because of this, would the gain outweigh the loss? Ru Bing replied, At this point, I can't afford to worry too much. If we don't make a decision, Wu Chen will soon be set on marrying. While the sisters were discussing, the two younger girls, Trang, Xiao Yi, and Zhao Yi, sat looking worried and hesitant, not daring to speak. From the laptop, Xiang Qianan's voice echoed, Hey, let me tell you something. Do you show toughness when something happens? There must be many solutions to this question, right? Ru Bing replied, It seems that Miss Xiang has come up with a better way. Shannon continued, Up until now, there are quite a few women around Wu Chen, aren't there? The one who has been by his side, the longest must be the one with the best conditions, right? Will the woman who arrives later be prioritized for a better relationship? Isn't the first love always much better? Or has he given up on the first one? Could it be that he has overlooked his first love? Would he treat the first one poorly? At that moment, Tan Tian blushed and replied, No, Wu Chen is very good to me. Really very good. Nu Bang then asked, What you mean is that we don't need to do anything at all? Shayanan said, All you need to know is one thing. Keep a cool head. Therefore, deciding what to do or not to do is up to you. At this moment, Miss Lai fell into deep thought. Sienan added, From what I have learned, the original intention of the Monaco royal family was to award titles to those who made significant contributions to the country's economy. A year later, Wu Yu Rong exclaimed, That's right. What we should do is invest in Monaco. Ru Bing was thrilled to hear the idea from their biggest competitor and replied, The economy stimulated this year, will be higher than the economy from the game created by Wu Chen. We don't need to cause trouble for Wu Chen. That's great too. Than An continued, I will arrange to move the headquarters of the corporation abroad to Monaco so that the royal nobles in Monaco can contact us more conveniently and the line of jewelry provided by the royal family can develop better. Kainer said, If there is anything I can help with, just let me know. Zhang Chao Yi and Zhu Yi shared the same thoughts. They were extremely confident in themselves and looking back at their sisters in the house. It was really wonderful to be able to help Wu Chen. Even Xia Sai Kin over there had a similar thought. I can't do anything. It's different from my sisters. The eldest sister, Lai Rubing, also observed the expressions of the three of them. She thought, it seems the feelings of the sisters over there have been overlooked. Ru Bing then stood up and went over to hug the two younger sisters tightly, saying, we are one family. Just focus your mind on this place and channel all your effort and energy into it. What you need to do is to follow what Wu Chen instructs. Just try your best. Do you understand? The two people immediately blushed and replied, Ru Bing, we know what to do now. A Huang, sitting nearby and eavesdropping on their sisterly affection, thought it was rare to see Miss Lai being so gentle. Ha ha, that's interesting. Turning to Wu Chen, he spoke, Today has been a long and tiring day. Princess, you should rest early and don't need to see me off. Lara was about to say something, but Wu Chen interrupted. Princess, don't say anything. I understand. If you need anything, just call me. Bye-bye. Seeing him leave, Lara felt a bit reluctant and thought, Wu Chen, I've never seen a man as confident as he is. Wu Chen then advised his brothers, You all must remain vigilant. Those around to protect the princess and the brothers of Da Guan Gang must be responsible for the princess's safety and prevent any violations. The others replied in unison, Don't worry, we won't let Mr. Wu and Mr. Lu be embarrassed. Having said that, the three of them left with extraordinary agility. Wu Chen smiled slightly when he noticed someone secretly observing him from behind. He murmured, 
Since it's difficult for the princess's side to take action, it seems she decisively changed her target. Let's see what strategies you can come up with. About an hour later, Wu Chen filled a glass of water with a weary expression, thinking, are you waiting for me to doze off? Just go ahead and attack, so I can sleep. Never mind, I'm too tired. Let's take a shower first. In the bathroom, Mr. Wu turned on the water, as if he were taking a shower. The sounds of water and the hot steam began to spread. He smiled faintly. It must have taken an hour, so I've been waiting here, and now it has begun. I'll cooperate with you again. At that moment, Wu Chen called the receptionist to complain. What the hell is going on? It scared me to death. The reception desk needs to come check it out. There's something wrong with the shower. It's driving me crazy. If you can help, come fix it quickly. I still have to. At that moment, Nancy kicked the door open and kicked Wu Chen right in the face. She aimed her gun at him. You said you were a traitor of intelligence. You're really something. If you can get through the first wave. Wu Chen said, there's no need to do that. Nancy asked in surprise. What? You drank that cup of coffee, but he wasn't poisoned. At that moment, Mr. Wu began to counterattack. With one move, he knocked the gun out of her hand, grabbed her head, and slammed her hard down onto the floor. Wu Chen wrapped each towel around himself, pinning the girl down. He spoke up. I'm sorry, being an informant is just one of my identities. Nancy, you really know nothing about me, but I know everything about you. Everything the queen told you is a lie. Nancy, you have been deceived. She replied, What nonsense are you talking about? Wu Chen gestured, slowly touching the exposed part. Didn't people say that the impure thoughts of men and women lead to such things? My mind is now filled with unclean thoughts, and I can no longer control my hands. Just look at how despicable I am. As he tightly held both of Nancy's hands with one hand, with the other he slowly pulled her shirt down. Nancy hurriedly pleaded, no, don't touch me. I will be poisoned and die. About two minutes later, the girl blushed, breathing heavily said, No, no, don't. I, I will. Wu Chen replied, How will you do that? Not only will you not die, but you might feel very comfortable, right? That's why I said you were deceived by the queen. He continued, Of course, if you believe the lies of the queen, then you have to start over from your miserable childhood. Your parents were minors. Their work was very busy. They couldn't take care of you, so they had to send you to your grandfather's house for care. But your grandfather was a worthless scoundrel who used the living expenses left by your parents for food, drinking, prostitutes, gambling, and cigarettes. He didn't care about you at all. That day, your grandfather ran out of money and couldn't entertain prostitutes anymore. So he hatched a dark plan for you, and you were violated. But that guy was an old bastard, afflicted with many sexually transmitted diseases. Unfortunately, you got infected. Before long, the area began to ooze and fester. Even more disgusting was that the old man even criticized you, saying that at your young age, you didn't study well and got involved in the chaotic society, causing yourself to contract all kinds of diseases. Your parents were so angry that they kicked you out of the house. You wandered outside for half a year, dirty, smelly, and filled with diseases. When you were about to die, you met the princess. He leaned in close and asked her what happened next. Let me finish the rest. 